Hi, this is Dr. Kathy Backus. I just wanted to make this little introductory video about the fecal transplant teaching module that we have. Specifically, because there's a lot of information in the teaching module, but for me, just wanted to let you know, my sourcing comes from Zen the Poodle. And Zen the Poodle came from Margot Roman, who I'm showing her card here. She literally is the nation's premier microbiome restorative bank or fecal transplant donor specialist. She literally has raised five generations of poodles, all naturally, holistically, on organic foods, no antibiotics, minimum vaccines, just as puppies, and then having titers. She's almost like meticulously crazy of not having them exposed to any chemicals. I mean, you literally could not raise a more pure donor dog in general. And she has five generations, almost literally almost 30 years of work that Margo, Dr. Margo Roman put into <coughs> creating this pure and diverse line of microbiome. So I have one of her puppies and what we've learned is that, and, and I say we, because Margo's done over 50,000 fecal transplant in dogs. And so what we've literally learned from all these experiences is a donor does make a difference. And so we do ideally fresh feces and we go oral and we go the rectal route. The animals do not need to be sedated the vast majority of the time. Um, and what we found is the fresh or fresh frozen seems to have the better effect in the long run. There are companies that we've been included in this teaching module that have freeze dried capsules that obviously are just the oral route. And we have found that even though I'm a big, big advocate of freeze drying, I have a freeze dryer. I freeze dry food. It preserves nutrients like no other. The best way of actually preserving nutrients in food when it comes to poop, it doesn't seem to have that same clinical effect as the actual real thing, the fresh stuff. So that's one really important factor that we have one of the donor dogs on the West Coast right here in Kanab, Utah as a source. And so Zen is, is that fecal donor. The other uh, point to speak to is it actually is more cost effective to have the fresher frozen because you can imagine if you have to stuff little capsules and make them and then ship them on dry ice, it has more expense to it. And even including with the freeze dried capsules. So you're looking at just under $250 for both the oral and the rectal fecal transplant. Uh, so you're getting some sort of uh, cost idea with this. The thing that's amazing is if you look around, you look across this country and other veterinary facilities that are doing this and they're not using great donors. They're charging up to $500, $700 for capsules. And again, that just is a little bit cost prohibitive, but to give you some sort of idea. The other aspect we talk about that's really, really important in ideal world to get the best outcome is you've got to clean up the neighborhood of the gut before you put the, the fecal transplant in and that really does get the better results. So what we do that is it's with weekly, or not weekly, daily ozone treatments rectally to just clean up the neighborhood, bring down the numbers. You're not sterilizing, but you're making it a nice place for those bacteria to stay once they get in there. We do have retinal ozone machines. You can also buy your own ozone machines. We have options there, but that is looking at, it's $300 for a month, so 150 for the two weeks to rent a machine. So you're looking at a little under 500 for the entire prep and program. So I hope that gives you a little bit of idea of, of what you are looking at to actually implement a, uh, a little fecal transplant. And just so you know, we can actually have these, but we use it a lot for chronic, inflammatory, difficult, get to the root cause, heal issues like allergies, 
any kind of inflammatory bowel disease, colitis, even parvovirus, anything that's really destroyed that gut is hugely important. But then what we see in older dogs uh, are the allergies, things you cannot get under control, even with cancer. And the amazing thing is we're seeing really incredible behavior changes, which is a really astonishing uh, use for anxiety as well as aggression. And some of that's included in the teaching module as well. So I want to just give you this little initial video on this wonderful topic. Thank you so much.